complete evolution of Megalodon. Megalodon is one of the most famous predators that has ever existed on our planet. In this video we will look at its evolution, starting with its ancestors, study the process of its adaptation to the environment and find out the reasons for its extinction. The evolutionary history of Megalodon is complex and includes several key ancestors that gradually shaped its anatomy and hunting strategies over millions of years. These ancient sharks not only predate the Megalodon, but also played a crucial role in creating its unique characteristics. Let's look at the main ancestors of Megalodon starting with ancient shark forms and ending with its closest relatives. Creation Sharks Creation Sharks are a group of predatory sharks that existed during the Cretaceous period, about 100 to 66 million years ago. They are considered one of the early ancestors of Megalodon. The most famous representative of this group is Cretoxorina mantelli. Cretoxorina mantelli size and anatomy these sharks reached 20 feet in length and had powerful jaws with sharp teeth cretoxorina mantelli fed on large marine reptiles and fish role in evolution creation sharks were the first predators to display powerful jaws and teeth which later developed and grew larger in their descendants Odotus. The genus Odotus is considered the direct ancestor of Megalodon. These sharks existed from approximately 60 to 30 million years ago. The earliest species of Odotus appeared shortly after the Cretaceous mass extinction and occupied the niche of a large marine predator. Odotus obliquus. One of the most famous species of the genus, which lived in the early Paleocene, 60 to 55 million years ago. This species had large, wide teeth with sharp edges. The teeth of Odotus obliquus could reach a length of 4 inches, making it a formidable predator. Dimensions and Behavior Odotus obliquus reached 30 feet in length. Like Megalodon, Odotus hunted large prey, including marine mammals and large fish. Evolutionary Transition Carcharogles or Odotus At a certain stage of evolution, the genus Odotus split into two key lineages, which led to the appearance of Megalodon. There is debate in the scientific community about the exact taxonomy of Megalodon, whether it is considered part of the genus Carcharocles or a continuation of the genus Odotus. This discussion is related to the structural features of the teeth and jaws of the ancestors of Megalodon. Odotus auriculatus This species existed in the Middle Eocene, about 45 to 40 million years ago, and was the first in the chain leading to Megalodon. He developed serrated teeth, making his bite even more effective. Such notches made it easy to tear dense tissue and bones of large animals. Odotus angustidens Lived in the late Eocene and early Oligocene 35 million years ago. Unlike its predecessor IKA, this species was even larger and had more curved and wider teeth. The serrated edges and powerful roots of the teeth allowed it to hunt larger prey, including early cetaceans. Carcharocles chubutensis Carcharocles chubutensis is the immediate ancestor of Megalodon, which existed about 28 to 20 million years ago. This species of shark is considered transitional between Odotus angustidens and the Megalodon itself. Teeth Structure 
Chugutensis had teeth that were even larger and more massive than those of its ancestors, reaching lengths of up to 5 inches. The shape of the teeth resembled that of Megalodon, but with more pronounced lateral processes. Size and Hunting Behavior See, Chugutensis could reach a length of 40 feet, making it one of the largest predators of its time. It is believed that it had already begun to specialize in hunting large marine mammals, such as ancient species of whales, which required its high speed and powerful jaws. The Appearance of Megalodon and Its Characteristics Megalodon appeared about 23 million years ago during the Miocene. This time was characterized by high sea levels and a warm climate which contributed to the development of extensive marine ecosystems. The appearance and dominance of Megalodon is closely related to its adaptations to environmental conditions. Megalodon was one of the largest predators of all time. Reaching lengths of up to 65 feet, it dwarfed the modern white shark, which typically reaches a length of 20 feet. One of the key features of the Megalodon is its huge teeth, which could reach 7 inches in length. These teeth were triangular in shape and had jagged edges, making them ideal for tearing the flesh of large animals. Megalodon's jaws were so powerful that they could generate a bite force of up to 18 tons, which is three times more than the bite of a Tyrannosaurus rex. This made Megalodon an effective hunter, capable of taking down large marine mammals such as whales and dolphins. Adaptations and Lifestyle Megalodon was an apex predator in the Miocene and Pliocene oceans. His adaptations allowed him to hunt some of the largest creatures that lived in the ocean during that period. One of its key adaptations was high speed. Scientists suggest that, despite its enormous size, Megalodon could develop decent speed, thanks to its powerful body and torpedo-like shape. A study of Megalodon fossils shows that it was distributed throughout all oceans, with the exception of polar waters. This indicates that Megalodon preferred warm waters that had enough food to support its huge body. Its main diet is believed to have consisted of large marine mammals such as whales, sea turtles and other large fish. Megalodon could also be a cannibal. There is evidence that young individuals could become victims of adults. This is typical behavior for modern sharks such as the white shark and may indicate that megalodons were aggressive and territorial predators. Reasons for the disappearance of megalodon Megalodon existed for about 20 million years, but disappeared about 3.6 million years ago during the Pliocene period. There are several theories to explain its extinction and it was most likely the result of a combination of factors. Climate change One of the main reasons could be climate change. At the end of the Pliocene, global cooling began, which led to lower sea levels and cooling of the oceans. This made it difficult for Megalodon to access the warm waters that were necessary for its survival. Reducing food sources Climate change has also had an impact on marine ecosystems. Megalodon depended on large marine mammals such as whales. However, during this period, many species of whales became extinct or migrated to colder waters inaccessible to Megalodon. This food shortage could have become a serious problem for the survival of such large predators. 
Competition with other predators It is believed that modern shark species, such as the great white shark, began to actively compete with Megalodon for food resources. White sharks were smaller in size and could survive on less food, giving them an evolutionary advantage in food-scarce environments. Evolutionary Changes in the Marine Ecosystem During this period, the expansion of the range of smaller predatory animals began, which turned out to be more adapted to changing conditions. This could also have contributed to the displacement of Megalodon from its ecological niche. Fossils and Scientific Research All we know about Megalodon is based on fossils of its teeth and fragmentary remains of its spine. Since the cartilaginous skeletons of sharks are poorly preserved, scientists do not have complete remains of Megalodon. However, using its teeth, it was possible to reconstruct its size and behavior. Megalodon teeth are among the most recognizable fossils. They have been found all over the world, from North and South America to Europe, Africa and Asia. These findings help to understand the distribution of Megalodon and its evolutionary relationships with modern sharks. Modern studies of sharks, such as the white shark, allow scientists to speculate how Megalodon hunted and what its behavior was. Some techniques, such as studying bite marks on whale fossils, help reveal how Megalodon interacted with other marine predators. Legacy of the Megalodon Megalodon remains one of the most impressive examples of predator evolution in the ocean. Although his time has passed, he left a deep mark on culture and science. Its giant teeth and legendary status continue to attract the attention of scientists and marine life enthusiasts. Modern sharks, such as the white shark, retain many of the features of Megalodon, although they did not reach such gigantic sizes. These species continue to occupy key positions in marine ecosystems, playing an important role in maintaining the balance of nature. The evolution of Megalodon is a fascinating story of adaptation and dominance in the oceans over millions of years. Its sudden disappearance about 3.6 million years ago reminds us of the fragility of existence of even the most powerful species. Megalodon continues to capture people's imaginations and serves as a reminder of the majesty of the ancient oceans. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel right now and also press the bell so as not to miss new and interesting videos from the channel Real Unreal.